say only four hours. Right, I can't get to that. Back, not that one. I saw something shiny. Guess it was that. Are you ready for this? Like I said, I never caught these shiny things. So I'd do it for a quick fight, but not gonna be a quick fight if it's one of these. I don't think I've done the Elders either. better now, now that I've realized that you don't uh, paranoise and unless you hit something. You're so used to spamming the button endlessly so that it'll actually eventually go off. No, 
I can't. Goddamn, I'm sterilized. Well, should have been, because I spammed the goddamn button hard. I refuse to fall here. All right. Show up. Making sure. You're fighting a weak. Come on, really? Are we ready for this? You're not hurt, are you? No, I'm fine. Didn't see. Guess not. Now that I know you catch me. Oh, You're he strong. wasn't even chasing. I haven't fought that before. We will need to be extremely wary. Ready to die? Think you can dodge? Just try. Perfect mayhem. Gaze upon my fiery No mercy. Wounds I won't shield. Cards in the flesh. Make up pay. Come on, really? Really? High low thing. Danger level?
here. Like something gets set on fire. Let's see if I can set it on fire. Looks like something you can jump across. Horton looking over there. Looking to see if there's a central loot that I can't reach. Really want to come back here, which is the reason I didn't come in here before. I wanted to, you know, come back after the main story gave me the ability to jump, but I might be an end game thing, and I probably won't do the post game in this because I'm already feeling pretty done with it. I don't think we have a chance. We did.
trust open areas like that. come here just to kill the boss eventually but they gave it a quest too I wonder if that means it's extra easy because you know they guide you towards it or if it's extra hard there I covered all options Check out the hide on that one! I bet I can take it down in three swipes. Three? More like a thousand, I bet. Right. And this isn't the time to be kidding. Here I come! It can be more than a thousand. Help. Include every little pop-up, you know, from attack to three. If the button wants to attack three times. Well, it could definitely be over a thousand. In fact, it's probably over a thousand now. Wounds that won't see you. That's good. I can't count. I thought I counted eight hits, but that was seven. I looked at it before I hit the button this time. I'm just kind of doing mental math. Is it feeling easy because I did all that grinding and I'm less pathetic, or is this just a give me? Uh, I'd go back and fight the Kraken to get uh, some perspective, but I can't. Yeah, I'm gonna keep bitching about that until it lets me. I'm gonna knock me out, that's fine, I can use the souls. Go ahead and kill me. Not like I'm gonna get a lot of heals from my party here. That was tougher than I would have liked. Easier than I would have liked. <sighs> we won. I 
wasn't good enough. What do you mean? That demon was really strong. Not really. I don't mean the demon. I mean me. If Shigure were here, he'd have sliced it clean in half. But you use shorter dual blades rather than just one bigger one like him. So of course... No. He'd have done it with a shorter blade too. You can't be serious. He's right. I think Shigure might really be capable of that. Yeah. He's done it before. Can I ask you a question? I don't mind. You want to know more about my clan? Yeah. Well, as the eldest son, Shigure became head of the clan and ran things for a while. But three years ago, a rumor started floating around that he was planning an insurrection, and our lord immediately called for his execution. Sounds like he doesn't waste any time. Shigure never particularly cared about our lord to begin with. All he ever respected was personal strength. Then did your lord send you to do the job? Yeah. The only thing that can take down a Rangetsu swordsman is another Rangetsu swordsman. I thought I could handle it. I knew his every trick and had the time and place all planned out. But when it happened... You got your ass beat. Yeah. He made a fool out of me. I came at him with a great sword, And he just used a small one. All the training I'd done, I couldn't land a hit on him. A rude awakening if there ever was one. Damn straight. I couldn't deny it. Shigure cast aside my great sword and just laughed. Train harder, he told me. I was so frustrated by my weakness, my inexperience. So much so that I wanted to end my own life. So much so that I turned into a demon. Rokuro. In the end, Shigure escaped. And I was arrested for failing to perform my duty and sent to the prison island. And the rest, as they say? So you regret not being able to kill your brother. Huh. I know it sounds crazy, but that's just who I am. I'm not here to judge you. I'm just using you for my own purposes. As long as you fight my enemies, that's all that matters. That's the plan. That's what I do best as a demon. That's just it. I guess that's just it. My quest reward was a little cutscene. Learning speed, even though the other one's stronger. I haven't fought the scorpions in here, and I haven't fought the spiders either. All oh, right, this nails both of them. I figure I should kill every enemy type. I'm sure one or five titles revolve around that.
What is the point of these bottles if they don't fucking work? Except it doesn't. It doesn't do that at all. It doesn't do anything. I guess back to the main story, huh? Got nothing else to do. I mean, I got other stuff to do, but I can't get to them because both the places I want to go, I can't go to. I can go to the islands, the class 4 ones. I should have the jump across thing before I go to those. These outdoor cacti. You're strong. You won't get away. You won't get away. Hey, is everyone all right? That yeah, did not work on this guy. I was reveling in how that thing wasn't coming at me and didn't see the guy that was. Uh, the combo was at 20 when I started hitting that. I don't know how it went down to 8, hey, but it still went down right? to 8, so it still should have activated the big one. I don't get why it's not activating the big one sometimes. Just randomly chooses which one to use. Did not hit that.
fucking game. No, they are fought the skunkies. It's over, right? Oh, you get a battle garment. My class. thing according to the level it had it was stronger than the Kraken so you'll be able to wipe that thing like nothing now if I could get to it Are the points of these bottles if I can't use them? All right, back to the main story. basic looking. One boss battle or something? Is that a fighting arena of some sort? I don't see any demons around. Look! There's something spewing out of the middle! I sense a really malicious force emanating from it. It's probably the vengeful spirits of those who fought and died here looking for glory! for that. Now I've got goosebumps. Let's try not to wind up as more vengeful spirits. Don't need the jump thing to be here. Box. Wonder if this is a endless endurance fight or Difficult fight. I guess I'll find out in a minute. If I go grab this box. Whatever else I can find. Underwhelming loot, overwhelming fight. Oh. 
I'll finish this now. What was that about? Why does it just randomly hit random buttons that I'm nowhere near pressing? I think I'd know if I accidentally hit the start button. Over 20 hits. Over 20 hits. Again, over 20 hits. Why are you using lethal pain? Tell it to move. I mean, it doesn't matter that it's not affecting the combat at all except for distracting it. Again, D pad, it's distinctive buttons. I'd know if I was hitting the D pad. Further the game goes on, the more random shit seems to be happening. Just the more I'm noticing it. And why will you not let me do that? See, I have to verbalize my bitching because it doesn't actually work until I verbalize it. And I just sit in my head going, why is it not attacking? It doesn't do anything. If I bitch out loud, it'll fix it. Good, I had an itch. Thank you. Cool. 
I'm gonna go and hit the thing I was aiming right at. Turn around. Probably turn off semi-auto, but... I really don't feel like running to every enemy. I like to hit the button and let her run to it herself. It's just convenient. Where in the world do you hide all of that paper? Here? Wasn't so bad. And here. Neat. <sighs> Looks like we won't be joining the party. I can see why this place is the stuff of cautionary bedtime stories. Not to mention why the Abbey's keeping way the hell away. We shouldn't let our guard down. But this place could still be a good chance to hone our combat skills. Indeed. Most everything we've fought here seems to follow a pattern. This is a good place for tactical training. If we ever end up on another island like this one, we should probably come prepared for the kinds of enemies we'll face. Instead of just kind of winging it like I did there, I actually build a combo around the type of enemy I know I'm going to be fighting. Yeah, probably should have done that. It's not like it didn't tell me which uh, thing I was going to fight. We are off to a save point is where we're off to. Coral. Oops. Doesn't seem a theme to the loot on these islands. Beastie combo. Green Edge is my only beastman. Oh, no, one might say cloud. Thank you. 
Up. You better be ready. No mercy! You thought I'd stop there. Annihilating? I should need to use the right one this time, and then miss with that attack. Okay, it was 60-something. Definitely qualified for over 8. Why did it not ever use the item? What the fuck? Yeah. Fucking bullshit. <laughs> Fucking bullshit. Randomly changed out my character. Didn't resurrect when I told it to resurrect, and then switches out my character, leaving me to get killed when I plenty of souls. I could have fucking killed shit. I would have been fine solo. In a hard fight. Although it is making my fingers sore. And I got bullshitted hard. Speaking of bullshitting, on the spot of that shit. Uh, I probably would have ended up losing when it decided, oh no, you didn't fair an eyes, even though you did. Like it randomly decides, <clears throat> uh, yeah, this, you know, 60 hit combo, it's not over 8 hits, so 
We're gonna use your normal one. Spamming my Mystic Art throughout that. Didn't go off though. Like when spamming through another time, but it did go off as soon as I started bitching out loud. Like I said, you gotta bitch out loud. If you don't bitch out loud, it'll never fix itself. Right, with full souls I did it. Because fuck you, that's why. Somehow using it made me lose a soul. That is odd, but okay. Move that makes you gain two souls made me lose a soul. How and why, I have no idea. Nice shot. Come on, there we go. I'm gonna read it one more time, even though I already know what it says. I've read it twice. Let's read it. It hit her higher. Oh. It's still let me kill you. didn't go off, so whatever. Why did my hit combo go down as I hit that? It was at like 30. Yet again, over 8, had 4 souls, why? Why not do the thing you're supposed to do? Doesn't really matter. Just, as a matter of principle, it fucking bugs the shit out of me. I refuse to fall here! Scout Good 
shitload of items. Go back to town and boost my equipment a little bit before they do the next one. Should have went to a better town with the merchant closer to the dock. I think this one's kind of a ways away. But I already picked it, so can't go back now. Shadow went to Titania. That one's right at the dock.
Enough. I feel like I didn't do a whole lot of useful shit there. Alright, I just got an odd message on OkCupid. This may seem kind of random. It does. But are you into swing dancing? Facebook is suggesting a friend, a lot of mutual friends, etc. who looks kind of like you and spells his name the same. Okay, well, I can assure you that person is not me. I do not. Is a default picture and but my defaults are hidden. No, no, I can't say I have never danced in public. That's not true. I've rarely danced in public and it has never There we go. Okay, 
That, that was indeed random. Oh, uh, no. Uh, if you see somebody on Facebook who looks like me and is a swing dancer, that is not me. I think that's the first time someone's told me someone looks like me. I have kind of a distinctive look. Not a handsome look, but distinctive. Big ass nose. Only other person I knew who had a big ass nose exactly like mine was my mom, and she's dead, and she also didn't swing dance. Oh, I didn't build a combo for this. Where are you guys again? Crustaceans. Crusties. That's already kind of crustacean y. No. This one has one. Crustacean attacks that I even have. Shell splitter. Shell splitter. Station, but I was already there now. Open for a second. Alright, one button master. 
Well, these fights are set up for using one button. I kinda like uh, switching up combos now and then, but no reason to on this fight. Now that I caught this specific type of spider before. hand just needed a break. That wasn't an effective use of that, but my hand needed just a second to recover. The game is helping my purple tunnel come along. Probably actually already have purple tunnel. Like, I get a lot of severe wrist pains and stuff, and, and uh, joints in my fingers. But, you know, I don't go to doctors, so probably got all kinds of ailments that are undiagnosed. Starting with my autism. I ain't got any insurance, so, you know. What am I gonna do? Still pay for it? I ain't got any money, I ain't got any insurance, so, no doctor for me. America. Duh. That was tougher than I would have liked. Nothing? Those are pretty easy. I was expecting more. Jackson, right? That's where I'm going. It'd be a break to give my hand a rest. Talk about swing dancing. Swing dancing. That is a bizarre one. Hmm? The boss has given me a message for you. Says there's some sort of nasty demon running around in the Aldina Plains, to the east of Logris. She thought it might be the one you're looking for. Wasn't the Eastern Highway closed off from Logris? That was only temporary. It's back open now. If you follow the road, you'll reach Stonebury Village. There you'll find one of ours who actually saw the demon. You want to know more? That'd be a good place to start. Got it. Doctor. Hey, that's the same direction I sent. Give the... Tabitha our thanks. Shut up, kid. These guys are spies. Going out and giving information it's away. more and more like we're on the right track. We ought to go check out that Bloodwing story. Then let's start by going to Stonebury. Hey, Eisen, did I say something wrong back there? No. 
I just didn't think we needed to give the Bloodwings any information for free. Huh? He means the Earth Pulse points, kid. We're the only ones who know about them. But aren't we on the same side as the Bloodwings? We're not enemies with them. But I wouldn't go so far as to call them our friends, either. That's just how it goes in the underworld. Things can change at the drop of a hat. A poison hat. But how are they supposed to trust us if we don't show them trust in kind? That messenger knew our faces, even though we'd never met. He was here waiting for us, even though we hadn't told anyone where we were going. You're right! We hardly know the first thing about them, and yet they seem to know every move we make. They could easily sell us out if it struck their fancy. They'll work with us as long as we're a useful ally in their resistance against the Abbey. But the more tricks we can keep up our sleeve, the better. We've got each other's back, but only as long as we hold a knife up our sleeve. That's what counts as trust in the Underworld. That sounds terrible, but at least you can trust that Tabitha's cooking will be tasty. <laughs> Can't argue that. Tasty poison. Best kind. This is everyone's first time to Stonebury, right? Why was it blocked off? Demons? No. There was a great tornado on the Aldina Plains that swallowed up a whole merchant caravan. Hundreds gone in an instant. The cooling of the climate is causing bouts of odd weather. Thunderstorms, heavy downpours, and the like. Correct. The Abbey is keeping a tight guard on traffic through the affected areas. If it's open now, that must mean the tornado is gone. I wonder what sort of place it is. It's Tornadoes quite don't last long. Lonely. In the vast forest to the east, you can find gemstones, and it's teeming with rare plants and insects. The locals trade only as much meat and hides as they need, and they live peaceful, quiet lives. You sure know a lot about this place. It's where the Norman he first fell in love with grew up. Yeah! Please don't embarrass me. Though we are apart from each other now, our hearts are still as one. Immediately after you and I made our pact and set off, she fell in love with some macho Norman and moved away. What? Why haven't I heard about this? How long have you known? Oh, I don't know. Maybe I found out during my long search for you. Or maybe it was right after we left. I remember leaving something in the village and going back to... Oh, well, not like it matters. It does matter! There's no sense in crying over a fickle girl. Come, Stonebury awaits. Grab those treasure chests, huh? Bond again. Same place. Kind of weird. The Eastern Plain is finally open for travel. I hear that the people of Stoneberry are alive and well. My husband and I can breathe a sigh of relief. 
I wasn't worried about him at all. He talks tough, but he was really worried. Oh, sorry you don't know who we're talking about. It's his apprentice. What kind of apprentice? My husband's an architect. Even the royal family and the abbey commission his work. He's been at the docks here on a job. He just finished and we're about to return to Logris. These people don't care about all that. Why did your apprentice go to Stonebury? He's young and talented, but a bit eccentric. He said he wanted to help create a new town, so he set off to the frontier. A craftsman has to focus on his work. Creating a new town. Ha! He should know his place. But my husband didn't disown him. That boy's fearlessness reminds me of my husband when he was young. So you understand how he feels then? I didn't say that. If he thinks he has the talent, he's free to do as he likes. But if he doesn't follow through with it to the end, I'll be done with him. Did you hear that? He thinks the boy can do it. If you ever find yourself in Stonebury, go visit that boy's workshop. <laughs> right. I'll do that. <laughs> Sorry about my husband. He can be a real grump. Don't worry about it. I'm pretty used to people like that. Hey, what's that supposed to mean? Break time! Because my hands sore from that last bout of fights. So yeah, bout of bouts? This fight is also called a bout. It's about a bouts. <laughs> 